Hi guys, um, my name is Megan and I am a second year teacher now, which is crazy to me. I teach fourth grade in Northern California and I would, I've always wanted to do something like this. I just want to reach out to more teachers who are in my position too. And I also want to just gain a little bit of that community that I feel like I'm missing. I wanted to join this YouTube community for several years. I've been watching the last five, six years in a row. I've just been watching, you know, Pogpo Primary, Early Adventures, all those big, um, well, Early Adventures is local to me, but Mailing Call, I've, I've been watching all of them for years, years, and I have really just fallen in love with that aspect of teaching. I've learned so much from them, and it's really impacted my life. Um, and how I wanted to be a teacher and I would love to also be a part of that community and pass along my wisdom if I have any for you or tips or tricks or anything like that that you'd like to hear. Um, today I'm calling it my setup day one. Um, basically I moved into a classroom last year that was pretty much fully stocked. Like I didn't have a lot of my own stuff. I got hired kind of last minute. There was a lot of confusion on what positions were needed to fill here last year and um, a lot of moving around last minute just because of how crazy last year was. I think people didn't realize they didn't like I have we had people retiring early here. That's kind of what happened with me. Anyways, I moved into a teacher who had been here for 25 something years. I don't know if that's correct. I'm just guesstimating. She'd been here as long as I have known about the, known this school. And she's still on our campus. She is just doing more of the push in pull out um, resource intervention, which is amazing. It's a great position at our school. Um, but she's still here. And so she left me all of her classroom things, most of them. Um, and I moved in so late to the year, like right before school started. The, and it was COVID last year. You guys know how crazy it was. I didn't really feel like I made it mine. When I moved into a classroom with somebody who had been here so long and they're not really leaving the school, it was a little hard to get rid of things that maybe was sentimental to them that I didn't, I, it was like, it felt like it was insulting to get rid of their stuff. Plus I didn't have anything and I'm kind of a secret pack rat. I don't like getting rid of things if, unless I really know I don't need it. Um, and this year was crazy and I didn't know what I would need. So I kind of kept everything. I kept most everything. I got rid of some things, but really not much. Um, so now I know what I'm going to use and what I'm going to need. I have a better idea of what I can get rid of or ask her to take out. Um, and I've collected things over the year. I've kind of customized this room now to feel like my own. Um, I really haven't done a lot with it and I have big plans I've thought about it for months I'm really excited and I'm gonna take you around and show you what I have planned and what I'm gonna change that being said I'm just gonna kind of dive right into it um I am in summer school right now big tip for you if you do do summer school and you are allowed to we're never not allowed to they just kind of clean the floors and things around here but if you're allowed to set up during the summer or get access to your room do a little bit each day after summer school. Like I'm just gonna be here like an hour or so every day after school. We'll see. I'm gonna try to leave like an hour, hour and a half max. Um, so that way everything is in little chunks and it's not one big long day or a couple big long strenuous days. Um, I'm gonna save off on the decorating until later because that's like my favorite thing to do. But during summer school, it's gonna be a purge. It's gonna be an organizational fest. It's gonna be a classroom layout change. So let me take you around the room right now. Here we go. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm just gonna start with an overview of the room. This is the front door. Um, I don't have anything above it. I used to have some things and I'm gonna change it. So I didn't put anything there. Um, that's my, obviously, filing cabinet. I'm putting, a small class library in this corner um, that shelf is going this shelf is going um, this is getting moved we don't even need to do individual class balls next year but there's just a lot of stuff that needs to change I use this as like a wow workstation I didn't have a board like a bulletin board name but I just put all of their stuff there um, I use like leveled readers read alouds and then 
I'm going to put more read alouds in there, but they can access these books at all times. I don't really say that they can't, um, but I love these shelves and I thought it'd be better to keep my books all in one spot. I just got this coffee table and I'm obsessed with it. I love that it fits my Chromebook carts in a very compact way right there. Perfectly. I'm so excited. Um, I used to be on this one and it was, it's like, you can see it's caving, but it would be one over here and then one over here because you couldn't put it in the middle. It wasn't strong enough to support it. And it was so long. I mean, it would go all the way out to like here. So it was like here to like, here. it was pretty long. So I just got this one little spot and that was one thing that changed. I was so excited about um, I am still in summer school, so I'm just going to do a quick overview. This is crazy, and oh, don't judge me. It's just how it is right now. Like, this is absolutely nuts. Um, this is what I was going to tackle today, and now that I'm staring at it, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> so, this is something that I'm going to go through take everything out, decide if I want it, and put things back in. So this is probably what you're gonna be watching today because this is a huge task, so much so that I have just been shoving things in there thinking I'll get to it later, and now it is terrifying. So you, this is not me. I like to be organized and this is not organized. Okay, um, I use these for storage. These are pretty organized right now. I don't really think I'm gonna do a whole lot. I can show you in another video. I don't want these mailboxes anymore. That was from a past teacher and I'm going to do a crate so it's much more compact and I'm even going to have it like near the door so they can grab it, get in line because we line up along this. I'm going to put some other stuff over here. I'm not sure. Um, science, privacy screens. These are all my indoor recess stuff. All my math manipulatives. Now this is me. <laughs> I love how organized it is. Um, I have like stem bins in here that they I let them play with sometimes. Univix cubes, things full of them, shapes, and then, yeah, um, that's pretty organized. I liked that system last year, those community bins, so um, I didn't really get to do a whole lot of that till the end of the year, because they all had their individual supplies. I do have to clean them because, I mean, I had them dump out their individual crayons, so I just kept them, so that's why it's overflowing, but yeah. I had them had book boxes, and they were right there, but then when they left i liked the book boxes that i used and i'm using them for my library so i'm getting like actual book boxes i'll show you what i mean by that but um now they're empty and i have all this space that's my flexible seating stuff more flexible seating stuff this used to be my library and i absolutely hated it because a i couldn't see um i couldn't see them in this little cubby and it's just i don't know i there's something about it just doesn't feel like a good space for a library. Now this whole space is going to change. Yes, I have one of those TVs and it is going. It's a very outdated TV. Okay, um, these are all books that the previous teacher left and I am returning because I do not need them. So that's gonna be gone. These are all gonna be cleared out and I'm gonna have all this space. It's gonna be crazy. I love these cabinets. It's amazing. Um, this is my plan for this area i want i already bought them i just haven't brought them in this thing is going to move and i want to put it in that spot i hope it fits i don't even i don't know if it will or not but this is gonna move i might even have it um like over here somewhere i don't know this is gonna move but uh, instead i'm gonna have a table that comes out this far and a table that goes this way like a rectangular table because i used that as my guided reading table last year and i hated it it just didn't fin fit any kids it's awkward it's just not a good table so i'm gonna have like a l-shaped guided table right here and i'm gonna keep all my guided reading stuff right here I have a chair it's right by the window it's a good workspace um, and then when I'm not back there with kids, I was thinking they could use it as like a flexible seating area. Um, obviously these are flat. I understand I need to fix them, but that's just where we are right now. I don't really quite care. Um, this is the front of the room. It's a double sided cabinet, which I also love. And I need to figure out a better place for it because it blocked off that whole corner and I couldn't see them. Um, that's my rocking chair. I love this quote. I have tape and stuff that I need to clean off and I kind of just put that up 
really last minute, so I need to kind of clean it up. There's like tape. Um, we're doing stuff in summer school right now, but that's my area. This table, I haven't decided if I want to keep it or not, but for right now it's there. Um, I love this space. I want to take this table out and leave it open because I think I'm going to put a language wall here. Um, I haven't really quite decided. Maybe this will be the language wall and this will be something else. But I'm going to use this space for something. Maybe this will be like my number talks. Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I made these. This is my alphabet. I know A and B fell. It's fine. We're going to put them back. <laughs> But yes, love this huge whiteboard space. It's going to be amazing. Um, over here, I don't have a lot of bulletin boards. So what I was hoping to do, see this like awkward little strip right here? I'm gonna move the filing cabinet there, if it would do that. Um, and then I'm gonna have another space right here. Um, that's like my guided math stuff when I was over here. There's a pencil sharpener and pencils, whiteboards and erasers if they need them. Over here, um, this filing cabinet was here and I still kind of liked it here, but I don't know. I think I kind of like it like that because it's all in one area. I understand that it's ugly right here and I might put something there, but look at, I got so much more counter space over here. This is all of my stuff for like teaching like out this is mondays tuesdays wednesdays kind of thing so it's kind of like organized how i like it and i did really like the system um so i don't know how i'm going to change this this is my desk my aunt kind of refinished for me and i love it um it has like some scrapes that i need to be touched up but i absolutely love this desk it's actually very compact and small so it's like just the right amount to fit my computer, my drinks and stuff, and then I can kind of sit there because I do generally teach from this area a lot because it is right in front of hi, this board. That's where we generally work from, my document camera too. So I do work from the space a ton. So I needed, a, I needed some sort of desk, but I am one of those teachers that I don't really need a big teacher area. Like, yes, this is kind of a lot, but I'm gonna downsize and it's gonna be more of a kid friendly space. But I don't know, I've made this area my own. Anyways, so that was a really quick classroom tour. So yeah, those are kind of the changes I wanted to make. And now I'm gonna start tackling <laughs> this disaster that I don't even, I don't want to, but it needs to happen. So here we go. progress it looks oh my gosh so much better I'm starting to organize the top two right there um this is all the stuff was in there I'm trying to put them in categories that's all stuff I have to give back to the teacher that was here same with all those books that was crazy um yeah I'm trying to organize but I'm running into something that I don't really I feel like I don't want to waste it but I have like these are benchmark um our curriculum literally there are six of just this unit there are six of that unit there are five of this unit and we get them new every single year i don't want to keep storing these but i mean those are every single one of our units and there's like two of some that we do very frequently and like those are extra we get some every single year so i don't like, do I have to keep those? I don't want to keep those, but that is a lot to recycle. That's just a lot, and I feel kind of guilty about that. So, 
Ugh, I don't know. Anyways, those are that's curriculum that I'm don't want to give away, but I don't access a lot, so it's in like one little spot. And then this is extra curriculum for students, I guess. I don't. Hmm. These are all like content books that I would keep for certain units, and I think I'm gonna get like some containers and like stack them by unit. Still haven't gone through these three shelves. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but we're we're checking along. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. day two of my classroom I guess declutter but set up really um I didn't really get to a lot happened yesterday um I didn't do a whole lot so I was just gonna kind of show you what I did and then kind of just take you along for today I'm not gonna do a long intro um so yeah and then I brought some other stuff in this today this morning <laughs> I brought some other stuff in today that I would love to show you what I got um kind of what I'm going for and then yeah let's get started okay first let me show you what, what I got I got these stools off of Facebook marketplace they're pretty tall um they're about knee height a little bit less than knee height but I got three of them um I'm gonna use them for flexible seating I want like a lower table on the ground and then I got two stools which I'm thinking that I might make a little space over by the windows where they can just kind of sit against that shelf and then work there so I kind of like that I have I bought these a while ago I never used them but since I'm moving my guided reading area into like that corner I figured that some organization in those shelves right over there would be good um what else did I bring oh my gosh I got this sign from Michael's it is adorable kind of cool I just love the colors and the font, so I'm really excited to find a spot for this. And this is the Better Than Border paper. I love it. It's obviously the best. I think it's the most well-liked brand of paper. It's in the shade Eucalyptus, and I am going to kind of mix up my bulletin boards because right now I don't really want to take that one down or that one, but I want to put one, a long one, underneath right here and one over here and I kind of want to redo this area make a little tiny one so I have some potential places to put it that being said I needed some more paper because I was out so I got this shade of eucalyptus and I think it is beautiful plus my room is green and I thought I might tie things in um other thing I got I got this from my coworker, but she was using these um magazine holders from Ikea and she didn't really need them, so I am taking them. There are some that are brand new, which are super nice. Um, which brings me to what I'm going to be using them for. This is kind of what I got to today. I didn't really get down here or over here. Kind of got to this shelf. I don't know where to what to do with those books, but I'm going to have a lot of storage space, so I figured I might just keep them. Those are our Reader's Theater. I'm probably going to move them up to be over here. This is kind of like my benchmark curriculum zone. I kind of put things here that I'm going to move just so I could go home. Those are my benchmark um, advanced like teacher manuals. I don't really use them very much like I should. Those are all extra benchmark curriculum and same with this. But this is literally, they're just like three units of those. I kind of told you about that yesterday. So I'm going to recycle a little bit here and there there's extra border I wanted to do a burlap border and I think I really want to do one like the one that's down there or maybe the one that's right there so I really want to use that this year I took all the books that were up here and I moved them and I put them into categories along the shelf I'm going to put them into these um, little oh my god can I talk magazine holders 
So I kind of put them into categories. I have some science and social studies. I have like major holidays and monthly themes like um, Earth Day. I have um, Native Americans. We do a whole Native American unit in California history. I do, I have a bunch of different things, but I mainly organize them into the ones that I have a lot of and that I want to use. Like I think this one is even like, point of view or perspective. We do a whole unit on that. So I just have stuff that I use for my unit. So that's actually what I'm going to be tackling right now. officially got all of these I guess content unit specific books organized um, I have to make labels for them so it's probably gonna be another day I got this cleared out and I'm probably gonna move those readers ears in there um, that's pretty organized down there don't really want to mess with it too much but it's pretty good so far I'm happy with that it's on my like curriculum and extra resources that I can ex access whenever I need to um, some of my content specific unit books, I don't really know what to call them. It didn't really fit in these containers. And to be honest, like I would love to have containers like that, but I just don't want to spend the cash. You know what I mean? So sometimes you got to make what you have work. And this is kind of like my system over here. These are two bins that I really use a lot but my, as far as my read aloud. So ignore these for now. Um, so I moved some of them in there and I don't really restrict books for my kids. Like I'm not really big on, these are my read aloud books. They're not for you to touch. I think that they should have access to all of them. So of course I kind of leave them over here. They are part of my library and I have trained them pretty well to either put it back in the return crate right here or um, put it back where they found it if they remember. This is pretty chaotic over here. I really need to make a lot more labels. Um, I just decided to dump all of that in there. They can figure it out. Um, so yeah, we get started on reorganizing these bins because I wanna use them for storage of things and paper isn't really efficient for that. So, um, and then I have a lot of, right there, like COVID-19 supplies, like extra hand sanitizer and masks and stuff. And to be honest, like I think I can condense and I want to use that bin for something. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be working on right now. Um, not done by any means, but I am mentally done. Um, I feel like I've done a lot. I'm not doing that much because I'm only here for like an hour every day after summer school. There will be times where I'm here longer, but these days I'm just not feeling past the two o'clock point. Um, so it's still my summer, whatever. But I want to show you a little bit about what I got done before I kick it. I feel like my closet is pretty organized, but yes, I can't just take everything out. And if it doesn't belong there, I can't just leave it out because I'm still using these tables for my kids. So, um, I don't know if that makes sense. I'll kind of tell you what is just kind of being held certain places around my room is very chaotic because I have just piles of things. Um, again, I can't just leave it on tables organized. I have to leave it away from the kids who are here um, and I'll kind of I'll just take you around the room and I'll show you kind of what I've moved and where just a really quick 
overview of what we've got going on. I haven't moved those stools yet. Great. <laughs> Sorry. Um, haven't decided where to put that sign. Yes, I know that is falling down. I have fixed it maybe 10 times. I don't know what else to do because those are holding just fine. But for some reason, that is just being what it is. Uh, my desk is crazy. That, I just put all the stools there. Those are the math games I let my students play with. I was doing these two charts today. If you're a fan of GLAD, that's kind of what going on over there um, all those books again all of this is leaving these are all getting reorganized someplace else same with those tools I want to find a bungee cord and like scrunch it together so it's not taking up that much space I love these windows though it's amazing over there um, that's not changing I love it that might get changed a little bit um, I just might want to move the placement of it not really what's in it I might move it somewhere maybe down here Anyways, um, <laughs> this is all stuff. I'm including these mailboxes and that mailbox and this I'm getting rid of. It's it's leaving. Um, these boxes I'm going to keep. I use them for projects. So I'm probably going to store them in my closet at some point. This, these three shelves make me so happy. These are all my content and units that I do for like read alouds and projects. And those are all those books. Um, those are like extra curriculum and resources, resources, curriculum. This is my sub tub. We had to have one, um, last year and I really liked it. So I might add to it, I might put other things in there. So I kind of like that. It's just right here. If someone needs to grab it, they can just pull it out and then put it away. Um, those are all my COVID supplies, a lot of hand sanitizer, gloves, um, glasses, and an extra infrared spinner, some math task cards, and math manipulatives that I've used in the past. Um, this is all decor stuff. This is all like party stuff, extra science textbooks, which I don't even know if I'm keeping. I might not. This um, is a little bit hard to explain. I might kind of tackle that challenge another time, but I like what's in there. I'm not gonna take them out. Um, and then all my extra storage stuff. I have a lot of games, like I have the ring toss, and then I really like that dart game that I found, actually. I have extra prizes for things. Um, this is extra technology, some big books I use, extra math manipulatives, and those are all recorders. So I really don't want to really move this down here. It's kind of nice and compact. I don't really see it when I stand up. It's kind of out of my mind. Um, this is like a big question mark. Um, those are emergency backpacks. That's That black crate is all emergency supplies. Like there's lots of snacks in there. This school, you had a time where um, they were on lockdown for like five, six hours. So they really, they're huge on preparing for that. So this is all stuff that we have to keep in our room, which I am big on being prepared in an emergency situation. So I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it takes up a good amount of space and I don't really know where else to put it. Um, I'm thinking... But those are also right here. Those are atlases that we use for something in social studies. So I'm keeping there. Um, I know that that's a Christmas bucket. Don't really know where else to put it because I use it for things when I take out all my Christmas stuff. So don't really know where to put it. There are toys in there that I want to put other places. I don't really know where yet. I'm kind of just keeping it there. Don't really need to move the vases. They're just kind of there and it works out. This is... Um, I'm you I use these I'm going to use these but I use these throughout the year they're really just going to be here temporarily and this is all past student projects that I plan to use again this year for certain things um and I thought I would show you um I have so much extra border so what I think I'm going to do um after school is I'm going to go to Target um I'm kind of good size border this one's fine. Back when the Target Dollar Spot had like the cutest borders ever. Um, I wanna get a hook and I'm gonna hang it on the back of the door and I think it should still fit when I close it. It's totally is gonna fit when I close it. I just have to space them out. So that's kind of my plan for that. Um, yeah, I might probably put it within this doorway so it just had like its own little hanging spot. Or, oh my gosh, you guys, I just, <gasps> I just discovered That'll work for those sizes, but what, not for the long ones. I could put the little ones here and just have like a little, 
slidey thing going on. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I had to store my border because I have too much in there to really move. Those drawers aren't long enough. They're pretty short. So I don't really know how to do it. And they're all getting kind of bent, the longer ones. So yeah, that's pretty much what we've got going on so far. Again, thanks for watching. I'm going to be here all week. Um, I'm probably going to put day one and two together. Hopefully it's not too long. Maybe I will do them separate. We'll see. Um, this is my first couple videos, so be nice. I'm a little bit, oops, I'm so sorry. I keep doing that. These are my first couple of videos, so um, constructive criticism is welcomed. <laughs> Let me know if you have any tips or tricks or saw anything that I did that you would be like, oh, why don't you do this? I would love to hear about all of your ideas. Yeah, please like and subscribe. I love you guys already. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.